this is just the beginning of the series, but the end for Danny. Rebel has to recover. And Miss Danita is giving dangerous vibes. What's good, y'all? It's your good sister, Erica Vane, coming to you right here on Erica Vane TV with a new series alert. We are talking about Kingdom Business, an original BET Plus show starring Yolanda Adams, Soraya, and so many, many more. I am currently breaking down all the Queen's men, and I think... I might be introducing a little bit of bruh content to the channel pretty soon. And in the BET Plus universe is also Kingdom Business and on some of the All the Queen's Men breakdowns. You guys have commented that you would love to hear my take on Kingdom Business. So here I am. Sorry for the delay. It dropped earlier this year and I am very excited to get into it. So without further ado, let's talk about episode number one. Now, Kingdom Business is a show that is going to document the rise and fall and maybe rise again of two main women, but also the people who are attached to them. So Yolanda Adams plays Danita Jordan, um, an older gospel legend, icon, if you will, who sits at the head of the table at kingdom first record label or first kingdom record label and is first lady to bishop calvin at um a very huge 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 mega church in the series and then saraya stars as rebel or her whole name you know is chardonnay who is a young woman who is just trying to make it trying to survive has been ostracized a little bit by the church and then becomes pursued after her best friend is killed right Right in front of her and she sings in grievance at her memorial and gets scouted for all of her talent there's so many more secrets that are coming out of the woodwork for the jordan family but for the most part the first episode really just sets up this whole story and plot one thing that i really 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 enjoyed is that you could tell that rebel really cared about danny we don't get that many moments with them because we literally only get the first moment of them in the club and then them leaving the club and going home and talking and being able to rap and sing a little bit like they start talking about what would they be doing if they were doing something else um danny was struggling with you know having a family that's in the church and them wanting better for her and looking down upon her because she was a stripper so we get that conversation between her and rebel we get to talk about their love of music we get a little hints into their backstory of like like both being in juvie together because that's where they met and kind of bonded and then she is killed moments after getting out of the car with rebel she's approached by an unknown person in another car before she can go into her house and she's killed and it's so unfortunate um one of the things about series is, is this is also how i pick this things that i'm going to talk about i have to like something like i have to like the character this is why it's taking me so long to actually have to talk about bruh the tyler perry series um focus on the men um, kind of like supposed to be the opposite of sisters but like it's supposed to be sisters but for dudes I have a hard time talking about that because I don't want to be on here just bashing people or things or characters or ideas. So I have to be able to like find something relatable or that I love so that I'm also in giving criticism, speaking from a place of love and intention as well. So that's just a little backstory on why I haven't started talking about bro yet. I haven't figured out how to tell everybody, the whole world, all those Negroes on that show are raggedy without just bashing black men. But I struggle with kingdom business because I love rebel pretty much immediately and I love Danny pretty much immediately but everybody else I don't give a damn about Danita she's shady for no reason she's a, the prototype um church people like stereotype hopefully y'all can hear my air quotes because like not all church people like this but when you think about the stereotypical uh church folk that we talk about in culture it's like the hypercritical look down on you want to be preaching about christian ways but don't behave christianly like it, so self-absorbed and narcissistic don't like her i kind of wanted to like calvin but he resents her and it's just like i don't actually like the idea of people staying within marriages just so, so that they can keep their business going you could tell they don't even like each other so that ultimately makes me not like calvin i kind of want to like taj but i feel like taj got some sh going on with him in essence because he's dating a pop star and she wants to be you know a little bit more involved she wants to sing the tribute at the stella awards for her mom or for his mom receiving the icon award but she can't do it because one her mom wouldn't approve and two i think that she's a pop star she's far 
removed from gospel. So he kind of judging her too. And it's like, sir, why are you even in a relationship with her if you ain't going to ride and stand for her? So like I was literally just racking up on all the characters that I did not like. And I was just like, Erica, you are you have a rule on your channel if you do not like most of it don't talk about it because one thing we're not gonna do is just sit up here and bash black art but i do love rebel and i do think that the story of kingdom business is great and that is why i really jumped to start talking about it because while there are so many characters that i cannot get with and i'm ready to fight immediately the storylines are solid the the visuals are dope like it is a very well produced series and it really does snatch you up and regardless like you don't have to love something to actually consume it you just need to feel something and kingdom business has definitely done that for me like i feel a way about all those people i just named and a few others which we're gonna talk about and i'm also rooting for rebels so guess what they got me on episode one now, I'm very interested to see what Rebel's journey is going to be because after she sings at the memorial for Danny, Taj is like, yo, we need to sign her. She has this clip. Somebody recorded her at the funeral. And I'm just like, people do that? Like, y'all ain't got no dad going coof out here recording people at the damn funeral. But um, I guess it's going to work out for her because it winds up getting her millions of hits over a few days. And then Taj wants to basically sign her because he's a r at First Kingdom Records. But you know, Miss Danita, Miss Hate and Judgmental Danita, needed like a, the stripper oh no we ain't gonna be able to make that happen why honey why because you know she sound better than you because she younger than you because mm -hmm. she could probably take your your bishop husband mm -hmm. yeah this gonna be those type of reviews i know we talking about church and whatnot but ain't nobody sent for miss danita so she get what she get right um and it was so comical like watching Taj go to the strip club to, to actually <laughs> to actually recruit um rebel and he has to like pay for a lap dance just so that he could be able to talk to her he was just so awkward i'm like part of me is like is the love little thing gonna happen here i know we had the little jokey joke between him and essence when he was talking to essence about how he just had to sign her how dope she was and she's like oh so i just started dating you you want to make me jealous he's like oh, i'm not paying no attention to that i really just want to do business but i'm sorry something about how uncomfortable and awkward and like not i get that he's like a church man so he's like uncomfortable around sex things and in this den of sin but also something about it gave me awkward like how guys be when they when they kind of like somebody so i'm kind of interested to see what that could possibly be but don't be trying to come and save rebel because she don't need you to save her honey be clear Mm -hmm. be clear now let's go back to bishop and um miss danita real quick miss danita is kind of excited that she gets all these day going or the record label got all of these nominations for the Stella Awards which is, which is the biggest award show within the gospel music community cool 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 she's also getting a lifetime achievement award or the F icon award something basically she feels like they being they putting her out the pasture and this is where I'm talking about the damn narcissism girl accept it or don't but like let's not try to shit on it like it ain't nothing and yes I'm sorry I was gonna not cuss at any of these reviews because I know that we talking about a church show but I'm me and I'm gonna have to let a few of them fly I'm gonna try my best y'all but I'm gonna have to let a few of them fly because Miss Danita is on my nerves ASAP. Like, I get that you old and we supposed to respect our elders, but somebody need to put your ass in your place. Because you got me, you got First Kingdom Business, you got Bishop, you got Taj, you got Rebel, you got all of us f***ed up, mama. All the way f***ed up. Frontwards and backwards. Just all around, you got to f***ed up. Your attitude is stank. You don't deserve any of the flowers that all of these people are trying to give you. And I cannot wait until we get a little bit more context on Mr. Julius Caesar Jones, who actually helped break you. Your album, that's the, the, the thing that propelled you forward. It did the most, you know, sales and all that. He was behind that. I can't wait that he come and collect what's his. Because women like you, Miss Danita, need to be checked. And I'm not of the business of like trying to dim women's light or want women to be small or anything but i am of the the elk of let's not get arrogant and narcissistic and too big for our damn britches let's not think that we are above other people because we are all humans honey and we supposed to be christians caring about one another you only seem to care about yourself including when you interact with your family and then you know just to be 
honest and objective, we have a couple of slithers, little slithers of moments where she's actually a mom. She's actually relatable. I love the little music moment that she had with Taj. That was cute. Mm -hmm, that was cute. But other than that, the only time that she actually seems at peace or possibly hospitable is when she's on stage performing. And I'm going to need sis to release whatever demons that's sitting on her shoulder. She need to talk to the Lord because you ain't doing it, honey. And you too invested in the church to not be talking to the Lord. That's all I'm going to say. Now, I don't really remember much about uh, the daughter. What's the daughter Jordan name? CJ Jordan Walker. I know she's the like minister of music at the church, but I don't really remember tons of um, her in this episode. So I am looking forward to seeing what she's going to bring moving forward and, and how she ties into things. I don't know about y'all, but when um, Taj wants to go meet with Julius to talk about signing Rebel because his mother won't let him sign her. So part of that gave me like he was his real daddy vibes. Did anybody else pick that up? I know that he's not supposed to be and I was waiting for a reveal, but they didn't actually interact in that type of way. But I'm just telling y'all how I feel and what I think. I am absolutely obsessed with Zane, Zion, Zion, maybe that's his name. Zion, the DJ who's dating Rebel and gets in that damn bathtub when she comes in after, you know, being at the hospital and learning about Danny's death. And like, I'm like, oh. Not this black man being there to, for her to have a shoulder to cry and when he gonna get in the thick of it with her. And he fine. Okay, 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 okay. Don't mess up. Um, What else happened? I think that's pretty much it for the first episode. There's something going on with Dex, who is the owner of the strip club that both Danny and um, Rebel work at. And he might have something to do with Danny getting involved with the wrong people um, that could have been, you know, people behind her actual death. He was giving shady from the jump. Um, he has all types of things happening at this dang on strip club, but we only get like little moments of it. We don't get like full, full on clarity with it. I cannot wait for Rebel to get out of there, even though every single one of her, her floss looks is serving, okay? I'm like, Soraya, come on now. Who knew that we needed you to have a uh, stripper on your IMB, IMDB credits? Because I am loving the looks and feeling the vibe. But now it's your turn. Let me know in the comment section down below. What did you think about episode one of Kingdom Business? Are you watching the series? Are you going to watch the series now that you have watched my breakdown? Let's talk about it in the comment section down below. And if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on your bell notification so you don't miss out on my Kingdom Business videos or any of the other hot television series breakdowns coming to you straight from me. See you in the next one.